Hi Gemini's, welcome to your love reading for the month of February. Uh, I went ahead and pulled all your cards so I could just start to meditate on your base reading. But as you may know me by now, I go in and I clarify every card and we get into a deeper dive. Now, what? I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Your overall um, influencing card that I pulled, which was at the bottom of the deck, was the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, something that talks about um, receiving messages of something that's substantial. So somebody either recently got into a relationship or recently got engaged or recently received an offer regarding love. And we're talking about being here on the 3D realm, 3D level. Take that check, go to the bank, cash it, it's arrived, it's here. Now, if you're single... This just tells me you just need something more substantial in your life. You're done with the flings. You're done with the half-baked romances. You're, you're done with all the bullshit and the crap. You're just now at the point where like, yes, no, yes, no. Because you want to create this path, this road, this road to success in a firm, stabilizing relationship. Now, that's the overall influence for the whole month of February. And we're going to go into it and we're going to break everything down. But before we do, I really thought I had, I should just tell you this, but... As I was doing your last video, which got all messed up because my friend FaceTime me and it comes onto my tablet, my phone, my computer, it just goes everywhere. Like a full-blown broadcast. And I thought I had muted everything, but I guess not. And I was towards the end of the video and I was like, damn, I have to redo it. But anyway, the reason I'm bringing this up is because the first words that came out of her mouth were, let go and let God, I, Elpis, let go and let God. I'm like, what? And then she goes on to explain why she said this to me. But then I was thinking to myself, Oh my God, I, I guess a Gemini needs to hear those messages, let go and let God. So Geminis, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know if you've been doing a lot of burdensome heavy lifting or you've had a lot of responsibility on your plate or a lot of defending to do in the past few months regarding your actions and who you're with and what you want to do in your love life. But believe me, whatever's happening right now is God's plan. It's definitely the universe interjecting to clear a path for your journey. So you do not no longer have to do any of the heavy lifting. Just let go and let the universe take over. Even more so, and you know, as she was telling me this and I was doing your video before, my throat started closing up. My throat chakra was like closing. I was like, oh my God. I was like, the message definitely was meant for Gemini because the first card out of the month, right out of the gate, was the wheel, the wheel of fortune. This is everything going in your favor, Gemini. The stars and the planets are all aligning for you. The, the Wheel of Fortune is going in the direction that you need it to go regarding your love life. Now, if you're single, also for you, check you out, baby. You're being able to balance everything that's going on in your life. So maybe you're, you're putting yourself out there and you're putting yourself on the dating scene and the universe is seeing what you're doing and they're turning the gears for you to bring you somebody that you deserve. They're trying to bring you wish fulfillment. Either you've uh, achieved or have arrived to wish fulfillment because you're totally a pig in shit and happy with who you're with or everything is working out and smelling like roses, everything's turning up aces or... This is, if you're single, this is you being content and happy where you are in your life right now. And the only other thing that you, that could complete your life is maybe a partner. And if not, you're quite happy with where you are. Everything is just great. And for me, all the nines, all the nines to me uh, mean individuality, meaning it talks about you. Whether it's your finances, your emotions, your actions, all the nines are talking about your specific individuality. So this just tells me you as a person are very content right now. You got for me, which I would consider this the middle of the month, the hermit. Now, if you've gotten into a new relationship or you recently met somebody, you're keeping it mums for a minute. You're not telling everybody. You're not broadcasting it. You you basically just um, want to take a time out either for yourself or with your partner and enjoy this moment in time. You just want to enjoy who you are. Now, if you are single, maybe you're going within and you're realizing and, you know, you're internally looking at your past relationships, how they failed, what succeeded, what works, what doesn't work, combining with the lessons that you learn. Either way, you're using all that internal wisdom that you've received this whole entire time in life to be able to discern what a meaningful relationship means to you, what stability means to you what you want in life, what you want as a foundation. Now, if you're somebody who recently got engaged, 
you basically want to shout it out from the rooftops. You want to go to the top of the mountain and broadcast it. I'm engaged! If that's so, Gemini, congrats. Now, the middle of the month going into the end of the month, I have the King of Wands. Could this person who recently entered your life propose to you or is coming into your life if you're single is a male sign um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either way, instantly I got the, um, you know, for somebody that's like an intuitive or an empath, you, for us, it, or, or a clairvoyant, which I sometimes, I've been doing this for about 20 years, they come to me in a mixed bag. So sometimes I'll hear things, sometimes I'll see things, sometimes I'll feel things, and sometimes I'll smell things. All my senses are applied. And in this regard, I just felt like a big, warm, um, heated front, like it was hugging me over here. So I felt a desire, I felt passion, I felt love. It almost felt like a warm red cloud was coming over me and it was warm and it was soft and I almost felt like a kiss on the cheek. So this is somebody that you recently met that either you have a lot of passion together, a lot of love together, and just uh, a, overall a great time the chemistry is full blown on both ends. And if you're single, this may very well be somebody, you know, who's coming into your life. Fire sign, if you're cross watching, this could be you. Hello, welcome in. Five of Wands. Now, if you you might be having a few arguments with one another if you if you have an established relationship. Uh, but you're fighting over change. You're fighting over stupid stuff like where you're going to live, where you're going to move. You know, maybe the two cent Sally's and the nosy Nancy's are getting involved in your life. And, you know, this might be sparking some like, you know, um, some confrontation, some arguments, but they're nothing to be serious about. But, you know, you are going through a series of changes. You might also feel like you're competing with somebody else, especially if you're single. You might feel like that the dating scene is just like so shallow. Uh that there's so much so much competition out there or something to that effect six of wands and outcome in the outcome position at the end of the month for the month of february i have the six of wands look at this chick success hands in the air hands in the air total success um i i you know instantly i was looking at this wreath and this you know this light and i was looking at her in the other deck you know, he's on a horseback and he's coming into town, you know, claiming victory over his plunder or whatever it is for her. And for this over here, I almost feel like I saw like Olympics and she won first place and she's about to be crowned with this wreath on her head. And, you know, her hands are in the air like she won and she won first place or she got the gold medal. And that's almost what I'm feeling regarding this this relationship that you're in, that there is nothing but success coming your way. So I... I'm going to go in and clarify, but I'm going to tell you one more thing. I did pull one more card. Sorry, my nose is just like very dry in here. I pulled an additional card for uh, February 14th for Valentine's Day. What's going to happen on that day? The energies ebb and flow, as you know, with time. It could, uh, time is fluid. It could be the day before, the day after, the day of. Either way, we're going to go and we're going to look at it. And you got the four of wands in reverse, but we're going to go in and talk about this later. So let's go ahead and do your basic reading now. Why is the wheel here? Please clarify the wheel. For my Gemini, why is the wheel here? Please clarify the wheel. Either pop out. Thank you. You got strength. So it just tells me, you know, coupled with the wheel, either strength has brought you here, finally to this moment, let go, let God, or you need a little bit of strength to let some of these things just play out because there's, uh, like we said before, let go, let God. The universe has certain things in motion and you just need to let them play out to arrive. So for whatever reason, you need to let strength um, pull you through or, you know, your other significant other could be a Leo. You're dealing with a Leo sign. If you're single, hang in there. He's coming. She's coming. He, she, vice versa. You know, you, you guys get it. Uh, nine of Cups, please clarify for us this Nine of Cups, please clarify the Nine of Cups, please pop out, I get the top card, Nine of, jeez. Okay, 
nine of cups i got the five of pentacles which is talking about uh being left out in the cold and the three of swords in reverse with the nine of cups so your past was shit and finally you've overcome it you're done because don't forget these are clarifiers so this isn't actually what's going on this is what's going on this this happy card this wish fulfillment is what's going on and the three of swords in reverse tells me that there's been past heartache in the past you were dumped or you were left out in the cold or your heart was ripped out and now here you are moving forward you know happy as a clam do over start over fresh new very interesting so i think and interesting because right neighboring that card you have the hermit what i was telling you earlier you know you're reminding yourself of the good and the bad the you know the good the bad and the ugly and you're you're taking those lessons with you moving on into your future you're not letting you get you stuck you're not letting it mar you which is interesting and that's very admirable gemini you're doing what's right for you what's going to bring you happiness on your journey excellent gemini excellent hermit please clarify for us the hermit please pop out i think it's a card team gemini why is the hermit here please clarify the hermit plus hermit why is the hermit card here boom the world new cycle well i didn't i just say do over fresh start new beginning here it is with the hermit I also heard travel so I don't know if some of you recently got engaged and you need to travel to family to see them or to tell them about the engagement or if you're planning a honeymoon this is it whatever something along those lines but the the general messages are that new cycle new beginning a fresh new start because the past was shit you got fucked over in the past so now you have this whole new uh, journey that's about to begin King of Wands. Why is King of Wands here? Please, please clarify for us the King of Wands. King of Wands. King of Wands. King of Wands. The Hermit. Again. Interesting. Coupled with the King of Wands. Yeah, you took time to think about this. You're not rushing in uh, blindly. You're really considering this relationship. You're really thinking about everything he's saying. You really feel this is the wise choice. This And... For some of you that just met this person or just recently got in a relationship with this person, you're keeping it quiet just for a minute, just because you want to enjoy it and you don't want everyone down your throat. Like I was saying to you before about the nosy Nellies and the two cent Sallies, you just, you know, you want to enjoy this minute with this person or for whatever reason, you just want to keep it quiet. Five of Wands, please clarify the five of Wands, five of Wands, five of Wands, why is five of Wands here? Please clarify the five of Wands for us. Please pop out or I take the top card. Ten of rods with the five of rods as we said before you know maybe you feel that you know these arguments might be taking a toll on you or you just feel like there's so many responsibilities that either you have to take on upon yourself or um you know there's a certain sacrifice that you need to do in order to make this relationship work now, if you're single, you you just feel like you're you're at your ends, you're like your wits end. Like you, you're never gonna meet him. It's never gonna happen for you. It's just it's just too much shit going on or too much competition. Not the case, Gemini. Um, this also just you know for those that are coupled up that recently met somebody, you are sacrificing certain things, and you guys are arguing about those sacrifices. What goes, what comes, and whatnot. But again. You know, with the five, these are changes. You obviously, if you're going to get in a relationship with somebody and have a significant other, changes will come in your life. But, you know, here's your outcome card, the six of wands. So, hey, I don't know, still success. And don't forget, this is a clarifier. Six of wands. Why is the six of wands here? Please clarify. Six of wands, six of wands. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's just repeating what I just said because now you have the nine of rods. 
you're almost at the end. You're almost at the end of all the bullshit and wrapping it up and, you know, solidifying the relationship, discussing what needs to be changes. But overall, you're going to have success because after you overcome all these burdens and you're done and you, you establish the relationship, your family home, your schedules and things like that, there's great success. Same if you're single, you're, you're at the end, you're at the end of this cycle and you're about to, you know, enter because this, don't forget, this is the end of February going into March. Things are going to change. Things will look a lot brighter now. Um, on Valentine's Day, I got the Four of Wands in reverse. So, if you're single, I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to be invited to a wedding, go. Because you might meet your significant other at this place. You're going to be invited to an event. Whether it's an engagement or a wedding, you must go if you're single. You're going to meet the person of your life here. Um, if you're newly in a newly re, uh, found relationship, it just talks about you uh, establishing a relationship that you need to form because upright is actual marriage. It's actual stability. It's actual foundation. It's being with somebody for a long time, like years or whatnot. So it just says that you've found something new. You're creating a new foundation with somebody that you just recently met, which is probably why you have down here some of these burdens and sacrifices and these little minor arguments that are going on nothing i wouldn't worry about though just normal typical things that i personally think happen in every relationship uh romance angels archangel michael samuel raphael what messages do you have for my gemini's please put that one card thank you and see what they say so we can cap your reading let go of control issues, let go and let God. Are you kidding me? I love when things pop out just to reiterate or reconfirm the messages that we've got going on here. Let go of control issues. We can't control everything. And I know, I know, Gemini's, you guys, you know, you're very cerebral and you've got, and you're very methodical about the things that you do. And you're like, well, how's this going to work out? And how's that going to work out? And you know, this is why you're applying yourselves so much of this, like, unneeded, unnecessary stress. Just get it off your back already. Be done. Let go of control issues. What an awesome, another awesome reading, Geminis. Now, please hit like and or subscribe and come back and uh, write messages if that actually happens uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, I suspect you're either looking for a home if, you, if you're engaged or coupled up or you're talking about your relationship and or your foundation on Valentine's Day. Uh, singled, something is going to change mid-month and if there's an event, go to it. Please, 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 please go visit your uh, moon sign and or your rising as they may either complement, clarify this reading or those messages are more or less meant for you because those signs are heavily uh, listed in your natal chart. And until then, please come back for your reading in March. Until then, Gemini's. Bye.